Hi, this is Gorav Gil, Ahmed Alogaili, and Manos Brilakis, presenting case 174 for the Manual of Percutaneous Coronary Interventions. This is a case illustrating treatment of a diffusely diseased and heavily calcified LAD. The patient had presented with, a, with an MI due to circumflex disease that was successfully standard and was referred now for treating severe LAD lesion. This is the coronary angiogram showing heavy calcification and uh, near complete occlusion of the LAD. On the areocranial, it is um, essentially almost a CTO. There is diffuse disease in uh, the proximal, mid, and distal segment, and we don't really visualize the distal portion of the vessel. So we tried uh, to advance a guide wire through the lesion, a workhorse wire would not go and no balloons would advance. So what to do next? And we do have an algorithm that starts with a small balloon, grenadoplasty, more support, microcatheters, and goes on to laser atherectomy and the subintimal techniques. So in this case, we try it with a small balloon. We try it with a Sapphire 1.0, which is the smallest balloon currently available in the US but it did not cross, and the same happened after modifying the lesion, intentionally rupturing that uh, subfire balloon. We did use a guide extension and try with a new subfire, but once again, we were unable to advance uh, much further down the vessel. And part of the problem seemed to be that the guide wire was not really advanced way distally. And then finally, we did uh, use one of the new microcatheters, the MicroRx, who has a very low crossing profile. But unfortunately, even this one would not advance through this area of calcification. So what to do? We obtained another access and then did an injection to visualize about where our guide wire was going to be. And uh, we saw that the distal vessel was actually filling through the right coronary artery. So we tried again with uh, this time a filter XTR, so a polymer jacketed wire through a microcatheter, and we were now able to advance this wire into the distal LED. We confirmed with contralateral injection, so we were hoping that now that we have more guide wire advancement down the LED, we would be able to advance a little further down the balloons. But unfortunately, we could not get a microcatheter or a subfire balloon to advance past the middle lady. So what to do next? One option for patients like this is to use laser. However, laser over polymer jacketed wires can cause melting of the wire. So we didn't want to use this option here because we crossed with the filter XTR. Another option is to advance the microcatheter as far as possible into the vessel, and then remove the pre-existing wire, and then insert a new guide wire. In this case, we did use a rota floppy wire that was inserted deeply into the vessel. After doing that, we did multiple passes with rotational thyrectomy, and it actually took quite some time to advance the pair past the proximal and mid LAD further towards the mid segment. But eventually, after doing that, we were now able to cross with a 2.0 millimeter balloon and then did intravascular ultrasound that does so still significant calcium, although there is some fracture on the calcium. With less disease more proximally. So we did use either non-compliant balloons at high pressure and this successfully expanded. And then we decided to only stand the proximal part of the vessel because of the relatively small diameter of the distal vessel. This is a 3.0 by 32 millimeter stent that was placed in the proximal LAD. And we did IVOS to confirm that we had a good expansion and indeed uh, it seemed to be well expanded in the proximal LAD. We post dilated and this is the final result. We do have a uh, nice flow now into the LAD. The flow goes all the way to the apex, but we still have a significant area of the LAD that was not treated that has residual disease. And we debated about stenting it or not, but we decided to not place stents throughout the LAD, but instead see how the patient would do. And then hopefully if there was restenosis, drug-coated balloons could be available that could be used to balloon this area. So in summary, this is an example of uh, a uncrossable lesion, uncrossable with balloons and microcatheters, 
We used several techniques, including small balloons, grenade oplasty, the MicroRx guide extension, but despite that, we could not advance the equipment further down. But then what we did is advance the microcatheter as far down as we could. We removed uh, the filter XTR wire we used to wire the LED, and then we inserted a rotor floppy wire, over which we did multiple passes of rotational atherectomy that then enabled advancement of balloons and successfully expanding the lesion. We decided to only stand the proximal portion of the vessel, given the small size distally, in the hopes that either there will be no stenosis, or if there is, we will have access to drug-coated balloons to treat this segment of the vessel. Thank you.